Uh, to a developing story now, we've learned that a verdict is expected later this morning in WNBA star Brittany Griner's drug trial in Russia. This has been a huge story now for so many weeks. Yes, it has. This morning during closing arguments, prosecutors asked for a sentence of nine and a half years for cannabis possession. Moscow correspondent Stuart Smith joins us now with the latest on this very high profile trial. Stuart, what happened today in those closing arguments? Well, let's start with the prosecution, because we've not heard from them so much as the defense throughout the course of this trial. They said to the judge in court today that they believe Griner's guilt is fully proven. And indeed, she has admitted that she is guilty of these crimes, although she says she's full of remorse and it happened by accident. The prosecution led on from that, saying, though, that they believed she committed this crime intentionally of drug smuggling and drug possession. And that's why they're calling for that nine and a half year sentence, very, very close to the maximum for drug smuggling here in Russia, which is 10 years years in prison. Uh, because of that, uh, they're calling for uh, what is almost the full amount in jail. The lawyers, though, for Brittany Griner, just after she, uh, they came out of the court, say that it is too much for what she is being accused of. They repeated their arguments that we've ho heard over the last few weeks about why they believe she should receive not just the minimum sentence available to the judge, but also potentially and not have to go to prison at all. They say that's because, well, a number of reasons, that this was medicinal cannabis that she accidentally brought over to Russia. She's full of remorse for her actions. They say that the procedures, the methods that have been used by the investigators breached Russian laws, things were not done properly, and that she was deprived multiple times of her rights in terms of how long she was in detention at certain points, and also by not being provided with translators at key moments. All of that, the defense says, means she should not be on the receiving end of such a high uh, punishment. Griner herself had the opportunity to speak in court she said that her parents taught her two important lessons, that she should take ownership of her responsibilities and to work hard. That's why she says she pleaded guilty, but insists she is not doing it uh, with the knowledge that she was committing a crime. She says she must have accidentally packed these two vape cartridges containing cannabis oil while hurriedly packing for her flight. Furthermore, she said she never meant to hurt anybody. She's apologized for putting in jeopardy the Russian people or for breaking any laws. And particularly, she said she wants to apologize to her teammates who she values so highly, her parents, her siblings and her spouse.